Modern technology has advanced so far that we all use software in our daily lives. But have you ever considered what types of softwares they are? Of late, open source software has gained more and more popularity among computer users. Open source software is copyright free and users can obtain the source code and modify it as needed. It can even be enhanced with new features. The source code can be used to create a new product, which can then be sold for a profit. All of these possibilities are entirely unrestricted. Hello everyone, I welcome you on behalf of Edureka to this interesting session where we will be looking at the top 10 open source technologies for the year 2022. Of course, this list here is not absolute, so I recommend you to go ahead in the comment section below and mention some of your preference of open source technologies. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in online training certification, do check out the link given in the description box below. Now let's get started. Firstly, we have artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the ability of a computer or a robot controlled by a computer to do tasks that are usually done by humans because they require human intelligence and discernments. AI has become more popular today thanks to increase in data volumes, advanced algorithms and improvement in computing power and storage. Did you know that AI was called the hottest job in the year 2022. Well, it wouldn't be a lie if that is carried on until today. Some of the open source tools of artificial intelligence are Acumas AI, ClearML, H2O.AI, Mycroft.AI, OpenCV, TensorFlow, PyTorch, so on and so forth. Now, these tools are used by number of companies across the globe. Some of the companies that use the following tools are Tech Mahindra, Nike, JP Morgan, amongst others. Now, as we have already discussed, artificial intelligence is widely popular in every other field. Some of the most used fields of artificial intelligence are finance, healthcare, retail, education, and commerce. The next popular technology is robotic process automation or RPA. RPA is basically a form of business process automation technology based on metaphorical software robots or on artificial intelligence or digital workers. It is sometimes referred to as software robotics as well. Now, some of the advantages of using RPA will be cost effective, improved quality assurance, increased productivity, so on and so forth. Let's look into the open source tools of RPA. Tag UI, RPA for Python, Robocorp, Robot Framework, Automagica, Task, among a few others, are some of the open source tools. Now, companies using these are Accenture, Ericsson, Trivigo, MobiQuick, amongst others. Again, robotic comes in handy with many fields in the industry today. Some of the few fields are agriculture, healthcare, food preparation, manufacturing, and military. The next popular technology today is DevOps. DevOps basically is a set of practices that combine software development and IT operations. It aims to shorten the system development lifecycle and provides continuous delivery with high software quality. DevOps is complementary with agile software development and several DevOps aspects came from the agile methodology itself. With that, let's look into the open source tools of DevOps. Ansible, quite popular, Docker, ELK Stack, Git, Jenkins, Puppet, are few of the open source DevOps tools. Companies using them are Tokopedia, Zalando, and even Spotify. 
DevOps is predominantly being used in e-commerce, entertainment, technology, security management, and banking services. The next technology that we have today is predictive analysis. Predictive analysis encompasses a variety of statistical techniques from data mining, predictive modeling, and machine learning that analyze current and historical facts to make predictions about future or otherwise unknown events. There is a huge future in predictive analysis. The global predictive analysis market was estimated with 7.32 billion in 2019 and is expected to hit 35.45 billion until 2027. With that said, let's look into some of the open source tools of predictive analysis. Orange data mining being one of the popular ones, Anaconda, R software environment, Skit Learning, Weka data mining, Microsoft R, GraphLab Create are few of the open source tools. Companies using these tools are ANZ, City, American Express, again, JP Morgan. Predictive analysis is widely popular in the field of finance, healthcare, marketing, travel, and even social media networking. The next popular technology that's a household name today is Internet of Things, or shortly known as IoT. Internet of Things describes physical objects that are embedded with sensors, processing ability, software, and other technologies that connect and exchange data with other devices and systems over the internet or other networks. The growth of IoT has again exceeded over the years. Global IoT market is expected to reach a value of USD 1386.06 billion by the year 2026. Now again, let's look at the open source tools for IoT. Zeta, Arduino, Open Remote, Node-RED, Flutter, ThingsBoard are some of the few of the open source tools of IoT. Companies using these tools are BMW, Dream11, Google Pay, Johnson & Johnson. IoT is superiorly popular among most of the technologies. Smart surveillance, automated transportation, urban security, water distribution, and environment monitoring are few of the industries that it is widely popular in. The next technology that is in a row is cybersecurity. Cybersecurity, which is also known as information technology security or computer security, is the protection of computer system and networks from information disclosure, theft, or damage to their hardware, software, or even electronic data, and as well as from the disruption or misdirection of services that they provide. There is a huge demand for cybersecurity of late. According to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, Information Security Analysts Lookout, cybersecurity jobs are among the fastest growing career area nationally. The BLS predicts cybersecurity jobs will grow 31% through 2029, over seven times faster than national average job growth of 4%. With that, let's look into the open source tools. Kali Linux is one of the famous open source tools, followed by KeePass, Metaspoiled Framework, Nikto, OpenWAS, OSSEC are among the few cybersecurity open source tools. The companies using these tools are Bluevoyant, Lorwin Technologies, and famous book company known as Sourcebooks. Cybersecurity is predominantly used in crime detection, along with social media, retail, finance, and government management as well. The next technology is blockchain. Blockchain is most popular place to securely buy, store, trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other top cryptocurrencies. Blockchain is a shared immutable ledger for recording transactions, tracking assets, and building trust. Blockchain is especially popular in finance for the money and time it can save financial companies of all sizes. The company's due diligence software monitors and detects fraud trading, laundering, and 
complaints violation, which helps in building trust through blockchain. Let's look into some of the open source tools of blockchain. Ethereum, Hyperledger Fabric, Hyperledger Sawtooth, R3 Corda, Qrim, OpenChain are some of the few of the open source tools of blockchain. Companies using these are MetLife, Cisco, Accenture, MasterCard. As said earlier, blockchain is widely popular in financial field. Along with that, supply chain management, healthcare, digital identity, media and entertainment, and even commerce uses blockchain. The next technology that we have is cloud computing. Cloud computing is the on-demand availability of computer system resources, especially data storage and computing power without direct active management by the user. Large clouds often have function distributed over multiple locations, each location being a data center. Simply put, cloud computing is the delivery of computing services, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence. Cloud computing is currently one of the fastest growing professions with as much as 90% of the businesses across the world choosing cloud services, most organizations have now increased the spends to more than 33% on cloud services. This means that there is an ever increasing demand for cloud computing experts. Some of the open source tools of cloud computing are Cloud Foundry, WSO2, Cloudify, OpenShift, Suru, and Stackito. And companies using these are Red Hat, Boeing, Digital, Capgemini. As said earlier, cloud computing is predominantly used in every field. Focusing on certain fields here are finance, healthcare, insurance, real estate, and educational fields. Next up, we have full stack development. Full stack development refers to the development of both front end that is the client side and backend that is the server side portions of the web application. They work on the front end, backend, database and debugging of web application or even websites. A full stack developer helps you to keep every part of the system running smoothly. Full stack developer skills require both front end technology development, development languages, database, basic design ability, server, working with API, and version control systems. Open source tools of full stake development includes React.js, AngularJS, TypeScript, Node.js, MongoDB, and Electron. There are a few more you can look up after the session. Companies using some of these are American Red Cross, Medium, Spotify, WhatsApp, amongst others. Finance, travel, healthcare, education, commerce, and many more industries use full stake development in high end. Finally, we have big data and analytics. Big data is a field that treats ways to analyze, systematically extract information from, or otherwise deal with data sets that are too large or complex to be dealt with by traditional data processing application software. Big data's popularity is at its peak and it has shown no signs of slowing down yet. According to Forbes, the Hadoop market will reach among 99 billion by 2022. And according to peer research, more than 77% of organizations consider big data as their top priority. With that said, Let's look into the open source tools of big data analysis. KNIME is one among the popular ones following Hadoop, Atlas.ti, HPCC, Storm, Qbol, and Cassandra. Companies using few of these tools are IBM, Microsoft, World Health Organization, Fraunhofer. Big data analytics, as said earlier, is widely popular in almost all the industries. Adding on, there are industries like sports, hospitality, banking and security, education, agricultural and farming, which uses big data predominantly. 
With that, we have reached to the end of today's session. I'd like to add on some of the advantages of using open source tools. Lesser hardware costs, high quality software, no vendor lock-in, integrated management, simple license management, lower software costs, abundant support, scaling and consolidating are some of the few advantages of using open source tools. So why wait? When you can learn technologies of your interest with so much advantages and free of cost. I hope this session helped you in understanding and gave you a depth insight on each of the technologies open source tools. If you have any doubts regarding today's session, put down in the comment section below and we will answer to them. Until we meet again next time, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!